we will learn about the keyboard. A keyboard is an input device that helps us to enter data and instructions to the computer. The computer keyboard usually has 104 keys. Each key is like a button that has to be pressed once to input data into the computer. The keys are divided into four main groups. Now, do you know who is he? He is Sir Christopher Latham Scholes. He is regarded as the inventor of the keyboard layout. First, let's start with alphabet keys. Look at the pictures of the keyboard. It shows all the 26 letters from A to Z on it. But the alphabet keys are not arranged in the order you recite them. They are placed in a jumbled manner. The alphabet keys that are used very often are placed in such a manner that they help the typist to work fast. Now let me tell you that the first six characters of the first row of the alphabet keys are Q, W, E, R, T, Y. Therefore, the keyboard is also known as QWERTY keyboard. The alphabet keys which are used very often are placed closely so that our fingers can reach there easily. Now let me tell you about the number keys. The number keys are used to type the numbers. They are placed above the top row of the alphabet keys. All the number keys in the top row also have special characters or symbols printed on them. The number keys are also placed at the right side of the keyboard. It is called the numeric keypad. Ok, let's learn about few special keys. There are several keys on the keyboard that perform some special functions. These keys are known as the special keys. Some of the special keys are as follows. The first special key we will talk about is the space bar key. The longest key on the keyboard is the space bar key. It is used to give a space between the words. The next special key we will talk about is the caps lock key. The caps lock key is used to type the letters in capital. Note that when you press the caps lock key, the caps lock light gets turned on. If you press it again, the light gets turned off. For example, if you want to type Kabir in capital letters, press caps lock key once and press the keys one after another. The name will appear on the screen in capital letters, Kabir. Let's discuss the backspace key and the delete key. Another special key is the shift key. With shift key, we can type the symbols printed on the top of the number keys. There are two shift keys on the keyboard, one at the right side and the other at the left side of the keyboard. The shift key is also used to type the letters in uppercase. For example, if you want to type capital A on the monitor, you have to press and hold down the shift key with one hand and with the other hand you have to type the letter A. Enter key. The most commonly used key on the keyboard is enter key. The enter key is used to tell the computer that you have finished typing a word or line or a paragraph. It brings the cursor down to the next line. It is also used to execute the commands. For example, to type the names of some of your friends, press the caps lock key once. Now, type Nikki and press enter key. Type Rima and press enter key. Type Sonia and press enter key. The names will appear on the screen as shown here. Symbol keys. The symbol keys are used to type the special characters. The number keys are also known as symbol keys because they have some special characters printed on them except the number keys. These symbols are typed with the help of the shift key. Cursor movement keys. There are four cursor movement keys that are used to move the cursor up, down, left or right. Backspace key. The backspace key is used to delete the character on the left of the cursor. Delete key. This key is used to raise the character on the right of the cursor position. Tap key. The tap key is used to move several spaces at a time or to move to a particular position in a document. 
All right, students, now let us discuss about function keys. The function keys are programmable keys whose operations can be pre programmed by the software being used. Each key performs a special function. There are 12 function keys from F1 to F12 on a keyboard and they are placed at the top row. Okay, students, let us take a recap of this chapter. A keyboard is an input device. The keys are divided into four main groups, alphabet, number, special and function keys. The space bar key is used to give space between the words. The backspace key is used to delete the character to the left of the cursor. The caps lock key is used to type letters in capital. The enter key is used to bring the cursor down to the next line.